Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 4. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 128. In today's episode we're continuing on with the British manufacturer races going back to Lotus for their second event, which is the Leash Trophy. For that we need a Lotus Elise. And by the looks of those cars, I'm assuming the competition's mostly motorsport leases, right? Um, yeah, well, it's all um, it's various latest releases, but um, the most by least does show up. I'm gonna so buy this kind of Siberian tuning. Yes, it's the quickest release, but yeah, I, the only reason I'm buying this one is it comes it comes in plenty of cool colors, like Bordeaux's cool, the blue's cool, but uh, yeah, we have to go for any color that says aubergine. Yes. Anyways, let's us do the things. Of course, we have to do the obligatory one car in a manufacturer needs a wing, and this seems like the perfect fit for a wing. Yes. So, fuck it, this one's having a wing. Mm. Wing a ding a ding a ding a wing a ding a ding a ding a wing. So, in the last video, we left off on the other class, and now we go to Pagani next for the wall. <gasps> Pagani. For the what? Pagani for the cool. Okay. Now, I guess because of the age of the app Ooh. and also when they were last archiving these, there's no Wyra, so it's all Good. just Zondas. I don't like so the Wyra anyway, so. That so we start. Old thing is cool. <laughs> so we start. What What did you say, Azza? That all seriously cool. Alright, Zonda. This is the standard Zonda. Yeah. Actually, I might stick with some race tires, so there's no point in doing this. Yeah. I'd say uh, slap the Elise on racing mediums. Yeah, I'm gonna stick so it on racing mediums, probably turbo it or something. So... The what? Oh the shit, the board actually Zonda? thinks I put... The board actually thinks I put the Zonda on the board, even though I can't see it on the board. Oh well. The Zonda's lost time. It um... is somewhere in... Oh, I found it. It apparently went in seriously uncool for some reason, which I gotta fix that. Oh good, that's where it belongs. The Zonda? Yeah, I'm joking. Yep. I was about to say, I was, I was about to come to your house. Please don't come on my house. <laughs> it, you know, okay, you know it would be dangerous. Moving on. Um, but yeah, Zonda, standard Zonda is sub-zero. Are we agreeing on your Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we go to the Zonda F. Mm-hmm. That one's slightly better than the standard Zonda. Yes. Because it doesn't have the chunky gearbox. The Zonda S. That's slightly better than the Zonda F, I think. No. Okay, it's slightly worse than the Zonda than F, S. but slightly better than the standard Zonda. Yes, there you, yes. There you go. The Zonda R. Fridge. What's that one? That's, That's like the racing, racing Zonda. That's yeah. slightly better than the standard Zonda F. Actually, yeah. Yeah, can it go in the fridge? Um, yeah. yeah. Mm, if you want it to. Well, it's not road legal. It's just outside the fridge. It's waiting to get in. So, it's, <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'll put it right on the, a little bit on the board. It's like, the fridge it's, magnet. It's, yeah. And finally, the Zonda Cinque. Uh, eh. that can go in the sink, and by sink I mean cool. It, oh, uh, um, eh. It's really? better than all of the other Zonda road cars, but slightly worse than they are. This is really dumb to keep an idea of all of these fucking Zondas. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of right. what else. Oh. oh, this should be interesting. Guess what's next? What? Pano. Peugeot. Oh, baby. <laughs> Alright. Oh. We start with the 107. <laughs> That can go with the C1 because it's basically the same car. I don't even know what the C1. I don't even remember what the C1 is. Small city car. So cool. No, that's Top Gear's rule. The C1's like in Uncle somewhere. There, we've, there's so many cars on this board. I, I'm trying to remember where the C1 is on the board. Look, look. At it's I think uncool. It is uncool. Just stick it there. Oh, okay. I found it. Yeah, uncool. Anyways, it's open to all of the releases. Are you surprised? And yeah. we're going to be no. going to Tokyo, Autumn Ring, Special Stage Route 5, Hong Kong, and Apricot Hill Raceway. Holy shit, this is a short one. Peugeot 207cc. 
Um, slightly better than the Micra. So, dude, the Micra is un is an uncool. The Micra CC. Oh, the Micro CC is seriously uncool. Yeah, it's in seriously uncool. Okay. Mm. Uh, and then we have the 308 CC. Uh, that is slightly cooler than the 207, but not by much. Okay. Uh, then we have the 4007. I have no idea what that is. It's is a it big a vehicle. Big, big seriously uncool. The biggest crossover of the year. Um, the 407. Uh, uncool. Oh. Mm. The 607. Don't know what that the is. What? The what? The 607. I have no idea what that is. That's like a larger, like, four door. I know the, the 607, big... I don't know what the 606 That's... is. The 607 you say? Did he say 607? Yes. Yes. Cool. So the 607 is cool? Yeah, I'd say it's cool. <laughs> okay. Fight me. No thanks. The Peugeot... Is this seriously called the Peugeot Partner TP? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and for that it's reason cool. alone it's cool. Yeah. Okay. TP <laughs> Uh Next is the 1007. I don't know about you, I think that's, that's... a cool car. No, is it because not. of the sliding? Is it because yes, of the sliding of doors? The sliding I don't think it's cool because yeah, yeah, I nearly crashed into the back of one and assumed 20 around the fucking bottom. Well, maybe yeah, yeah, if you yeah, fucking yeah. drove your clear a bit safer than you. I will say this, Emil. I, I mean, agree with you, but the doors are cool, but the car is like, I really think it's more just the middle. I mean, I mean, yeah, you, you wanna, yeah, go middle. You wanna, you wanna yeah, know the middle. best about the 1007? It has sliding doors. Uh, no, no, I found out there is some okay. people that can re reprogram it to give it more power. Nice. We go from the, we go from the standard 207, we go from the 207cc to the standard 207. Uh, uncool. Actually, I have a friend who owns one, seriously, and cool. <laughs> okay. It's funny enough, they use the same picture, so... Hey, Lamau. Well, baby. It's as low effort as Peugeot put into making them. Oh, hey, they also use the same picture for the 308cc and the 308, which means... Right. Oops. The 308 is in the middle. I don't care. Okay. I mean, again, it's your thing. I like it. Eh, freeway, it's fine. And finally, the 807. That's the, that's the people carrier. I actually don't hate that thing, but it's uncool. <laughs> Fair enough. Is it Porsche next? Uh, yes it is. Oh baby, this should be fun. 911 Turbo. Uncool. Seriously uncool. Oh. Which, the 997 which generation. Seriously uncool. Yeah. Uh, Boxster. Seriously, seriously, that can go Dude. to hell, actually. Send so that to fire pit. Pit. So fire pit. Got As it. Seth yeah. Rollins would say, burn it down. Oh my god, that's not supposed to happen. Um, <laughs> um that's not supposed Boxster. to happen. That is not supposed Oops. to happen. Hey, you get a, you get a head start. Yeah. Anyways, uh, James May's Boxster. Seriously uncool. I don't care. So, it, so, but what fire pit like the? Standard it's not boxer, quite fire pit. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't set James May's Boxster on fire. I no, just no, dismantle the, it. No, it <laughs> okay. Oh, um, Panamera. Seriously uncool. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Um. Next is the 911, just a plain 911. Seriously uncool. Seriously uncool. I, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna which, say much because I like Porsches, but you know, which which generation though? Because that 997. Seriously uncool. <laughs> Porsche GT 911 GT2. Seriously uncool. It's got scaffolding. Jesus no, that's Christ. not the scaffolding, but it's still seriously. Oh uncool. no, wait, that's. That's the uh, um, Porsche Cayenne. Uh, yeah. Seriously uncool. 
I think they're cool just because they're really fucking cheap. Nope, seriously not cool. Uh, you wanna know? Do, you, you know what? I'm going to. Uh, Porsche Cayman. Cayman? That's a cool car. That's cool, yeah. Uh, thank uh, you. Uh, uh, Emil, Emil uh, I, saw, I saw Cayman that can actually go off road at the Porsche Museum. Top Gear nice. says it's seriously uncool, and, they say, and the reason they say that is putting a roof on a boxer isn't gonna stop people throwing things at you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the point. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, last Porsche here is the 911 GT3 RS. Good! Seriously and cool. Because it's got scar. It's honestly a shame in. because, like, no, because it's I really like, I just, I just really like Porsches, which may, which might be why Emil thinks they're seriously uncool. No, no, I them. never like, here's the thing, Porsches are uncool because people who buy Porsches are just flat out penises. Oh wait, so, does Richard, does Richard Hammond is a penis? Yes. Uh, I, f I think I actually forgot to. I, I don't know. It's like. And the 996 can get set on fire, but there was no 996s, so. I, I don't know. I like I, I like Porsches. I not totally all of them. Oh boy, Proton. Oh baby. Oh. The Gen 2. Uh, that is a cool car. It is, it, it is actually a nice looking Proton. No, it's not, I'll but it, it came with like. Listen, do you know why that car's cool? Why? Because you could buy it with a one pound deposit. <laughs> well, perfect. Are you Ooh, serious? The Proton, no. The Proton Satria yes. Neo. Uh, that's seriously and cool because Azza likes it. And oh, finally, oh. the Proton Savvy. Uh, that's seriously and cool <laughs> because they tried to say it was my first Lotus. <laughs> mm. Wow. Alright, now. Renal. Oh baby. Uh, uh, we start with the Clio Renal. We start with the Clio Renal Sport. Uh, seriously one? uncool. You can't improve a Clio. I'm sorry. Clio V6. Uh, cool. Mm. That's not that's not on here. I'm just saying to yeah. his thing. Oh, the that's Renal Spas. The fucking Top Gear Renal Spas convertible. That's seriously cool. That's seriously cool. Yeah, that's sub zero. Wait. I'll be you try to Impeccable make a convertible Impeccable. Spas. Yeah. Then we go to a standard Renault Spass. Uh, cool. Uncool. Uncool. Just uncool, okay. Yeah. Um, the I mean, Renault Kangoo. Uh, I'm uncool. you get to say Kangoo though, that's kind of cool. So, uncool? It's cool yeah. because it's got a silly name. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay. Uh, next is the the Renault Colios? The Colodius. Colodius. Uh, however the fuck you say it, it's seriously uncool. Colodius. Cool. Co co Good, it's because it's it looks like a crossover anyway. <laughs> yes, it is, and I think it means balls in Greece, so that's why they... Balls in the Greece. Yeah. I hope you don't say seriously uncool on this, even though it is your list, but the Renault Sport McGann 225. <laughs> Burn it. Oh, we had a fun argument about this on a couple of episodes. Uh, no, that's no, seriously no, 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 uncool. No, it can no, get no, fucked. No, 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 that's Emil, a shame. Emil, that's that's not this one. That's that's the Megan Three. I don't care. It's still seriously. I don't care. Plastic window. No, no, it's it's, 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 it's worse than the plastic window. It's the plastic Megan window tax. Fuck off. It's it's worse. It's, the, it's a fucking Megan Three, so it's uncool to start with. Next I car. personally. Like the that generation began, but okay. It's the uncool. next is next is a, although this one I would agree is seriously uncool. The McGann CC. Oh yes. uh, yeah, that's seriously uncool. cool. Yeah. Uh, then we have a McGann the third generation McGann Rental Sport. Seriously uncool. Yeah. <laughs> Disagree, but okay. It's not my not my wall. Mhm. Mm Rental Scenic. Uh, uncool. <laughs> Very uncool. The Scenic, why is this thing? The Rental Twingo. Oh, that thing is like, like that's all oh, that, that, that's, that's really sub zero, zero, actually. Zero. That is sub zero. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Wh which, which Twingo, though? Every gets Twingo better. Was better. Gets, be gets better because the next one's the Twingo Rental Sport. Uh, actually, sub right, zero. put the standard Twingo back to cool and the. Twingo Sport in Sub Zero. Okay. Although making I mean, slightly yeah, behind the Abar 500 because it's not quite as cool as an Abar 500. I mean, the Renault Sport Twingo is Sub Zero purely for the fact 
they take a small city car and make it even more fun. Exactly. Oh, hey, a base rental Clio. Uh, <laughs> seriously, Uncle? That is a spare. <laughs> <laughs> Which generation? It doesn't matter. Azza Azza it's close room. enough. Can I, so many, can, put, can I just say they put so many cars in this app, like stock wise, and I'm starting to run out of space. Excellent. So we have on. to start overlapping cars. Uh, Renault Laguna. Uh, seriously, uncle. I wouldn't say it's seriously, uncle. I would. I actually like the Laguna. I don't hate it either, but it's seriously, uncle. The, rental, the second generation rental began. <laughs> Ludo's got one. Seriously, is it a cool. Coupe? Yeah, I mean, is it a coupe? No, it's a standard began. And finally, the rental Modus. Uh, oh, that thing oh, had a. The boot shoot's kind of cool, but that's like the only cool yeah. thing about it, so, so it's uncool. uncool. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's, it's actually now okay, even more than the oh, began to. Rolls Royce. Oh, so British. Starting with They're the drop head. Like. The what? I mean, the Rolls Royce drop head. I'd spit in it if I saw one. Uncool. <laughs> okay. I bring bolt cutters to the spirit of ecstasy. So the Rolls Royce Ghost. Uncool. Uncool. Rolls Royce is all uncool because they're the stereotypical. I'm rich and you're Yeah, they are that. all uncool. To be fair, there's no real way around that. The Phantom Coupe. Uncool. And then the Phantom. Slightly no. cooler than the Coupe, but still uncool. Fair enough. I'd rather have Bentley over a Volt any day. Yeah. I mean, I I personally like the Phantom, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ooh, Saab. Ooh. Wait, AK's ooh, got nice. one. Which one's AK Saab got? An M3, I think. Because there's, yeah, there's a 9-3 in this. Yeah, so it's uncool. Yeah, it's so really uncool. Mean. AK's got one. I'm sorry. 9-3 convertible. Uh, that's seriously uncool. Just because Not it's a convertible AK sub. One. Yeah, just because it's a convertible thing that shouldn't exist. And finally the sub 9-5. Oh, that thing's cool. Was that? That's cool. Was, yeah. that, was that actually a production car or was that only just a concept? Yeah, the 9-5 was a real. The 9.5 okay. was the mid-size. If uh, AK didn't have the nine, the standard 9.3... Oh, if AK cool. didn't have a standard 9.3, it'd be cool. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Uh, say it. Oh boy, this should be fun. Yeah, the Say it Alhambra. Seriously, ain't cool. Wait, which mm. one is yeah, that? Yeah, I was about to yeah. say, you're probably That's a really it. shit tiny compact that's owned by Chavs now. The Say it Altea. That's the one. Say Seriously, ain't cool. Yeah, it's, it's the MP, it's the crossover. The then we have the Altia, the Altia free track. Seriously, cool. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Leon Cupra. Uncool. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's then fine. you have say the say it Axio. Uncool. Well, at least you had an opinion to say about it right away. I had no idea what it was. Then there's the Seat Ibiza. Uh, seriously mm. uncool nowadays. Yeah. Hmm. It used to be cool. It no, it, it was never cool, but at least it was like tolerable. Finally, the Seat, the, a standard Seat Leon. Uh, uncool. Fair. Um, that depends if you can find it. And lastly, the Seat Toledo. <laughs> Listen, it depends if you can find it, because it might be just be covered in auto cars jizz right now. What about the Seat Toledo? Toledo, sorry. Uh, which one is it? I don't fucking know. Does it look new? It, it, no, it's, it, it, Toledo is an old sedan, I think. Can I just put it in uncool? Yeah. Yeah. The only cool thing okay. about them is they came with five cylinders, but... That's only the old ones. <laughs> then we go from Seat to Skoda. Oh boy, yeah. alright. So, Skoda so, Fabio. So, so we stay with That's again. uncool. That's a lot of emphasis you put in that. Mm -hmm. The Skoda Octavia. Mm. That's bordering because I have no strong opinions when it comes to the Octavia. Mm -hmm. Fair. The Skoda Roomster. 
Uh, that's uncool. Just sounds <laughs> dumb. Yes. Uh, this the Skoda superb. That's not superb. It's uncool. Fair. Oh. Uh, then then there's the Oc the Skoda Octavia VRS. Right. This one's a weird one. I think it's cooler than a Golf GTI. Okay. But most people probably disagree with that. Also, yeah. currently, I'm sort of trying to talk as around to seeing them as a potential next car. Um, so, as of right now, they are cool. However, mm. if he buys one, it becomes I'm not sure I will. They will like cars. I reckon they're a good idea for you, you know. Why? Because they don't die. Mm, and guess. they're kind of they're cool cars. They're quick as well. Yeah, okay, so, so you can race like fucking. If you buy an Octavia VRS, any fucking dick end in a Golf GTI that wants to race you, you can cream pie him all the way around. <laughs> I've never wanted to cream pie a VW Golf driver. So the Octavia VRS is cool. Yes. Okay, and lastly is the Skoda Yeti. Oh, that thing's like bordering Sub Zero. I love the Yeti. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I love the Yeti. It's a shame they we killed it off that. for a meaningless, pointless concept. Uh, for a meaningless, pointless crossover, they're using Paloma wait, Faith wait. of all fucking people to have. Wait, wait. I like the I like it because of the name alone. Yes. Oh. God. Yeah, the Yeti's dead. It's been replaced by the next Karoke is or the, something. Next is the Smart Four Two. Uh, Seriously, uh, uncool. I want it. Yeah. I honestly wanted to put it in the fire pit, but I will abide by your your decision. Mm. Which one? The the first. Which one? Yeah, the, the At same. least it's clever. The four that's, two Brabus. That, uh, that's uncool. Brabus. Mm. It's cool just because it's not a standard four two, but it's still a four two. Yes. Wait, which which yes. one is the four? The four two is is, is that's is, the small one. It's the tiny four. one. The, yeah. That's sort of the smart car. <laughs> oh, the smart for four. Ah, like uh, right. Effect. This is where my creative control takes over again. That thing's like cool, just almost bordering on Sub Zero. I love the four four. I actually would agree. Having watched it on Top Gear, I would have loved to have a four four. They're cool cars. I there's one for sale. Oh, on oh they actually. Mm. Oh, they actually. Oh, they actually did oh. bring the four four back. Yeah, that, but it's now just the four two slightly extended. Oh, that's a shame. It's it's, it's, it's also twingo. Yes, I look. I I did look it up because I'm curious, and yeah, it's a shame. It, <laughs> I, it just looks I, ugly I, now. It's I, not I, an expedition cult anymore. So I, Inferno, I, it's a, it's yeah. a, it's a it, your idea of let's slightly upgrade the Elise to make it better has not exactly made it much competition for anything. Oops. Um, I didn't say dump a whole load of power. I didn't dump that much. Uh, it's only got 250. Compared to how much front stock, about 140. No, it's a. This is a one four. This is like a one, whatever the fuck. This has got like 180, I think. The 111 R's got like Even, almost 200 brake horsepower. Yeah, and the nose for release has 200 horsepower. No, it doesn't. It had 300 in GT2. And free. When it was tuned, yes, but no, it front has 300. Stock, no. No, it has 200. Five pounds says it's got 300 crossbar. Anyways, um, <laughs> there's one more. There's one more smart, and it's the very roadster. well then. The very roadster. Well, then. The roadster's cool. You know what's not cool though? What? The fact they accident. The, the fact that they accidentally, when putting a picture for the smart roadster, they put a picture of a four two. That's not cool. <laughs> but then again, there was a four two roadster. Anyways, yeah, but. It's I'll take prize that car time. It's the I'll Elise Type bad, 72, Neil. which is based or is supposed to be a homage to one of the old. Uh, I think it's the John Players Type 72 uh, F1 car, something like that. Anyways, let's fucking settle the score. Settle the score. Wait, shit, where is it? Legendary.
<laughs> you owe me five pounds, motherfucker. That says three hundred. Anyways, um, no, that said no, it doesn't. It says three hundred. Anyways, um, no, it said two hundred. Eighty-four point eight percent completion. Nice. That's a lot. Right, where is my car? In cars. Burn it, burn it. Here in my car, it is black metallic. It's only worth 11 grand. It is fucking worthless. Yes, it is. Anyways. Here in my car. car. 84.8% completion. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we do the uh, second Black to last manufacturer Rances. event. And one of my personal favorites. Stay tuned for it. Until then, farewell.